Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening. I hope this finds you well. So I, I didn't cut it, I just tie it. Um, but at least it's the first time I can do it. So first time. Um, I feel myself like, like pulled back. So today we connect with the ankles and the topic to discuss is mission and purpose. Through all of my life, all my life, I have been asked by a lot of people um, how, how can I know my mission and my purpose? How can I do to know what is my mission and what is my purpose? And um, many, many of the people, most of the people that asked me that, I think um, they had not even the idea of the difference between mission and purpose. So uh, we usually take it in two different ways. So we are going to explain today what are the differences between both of them mainly and how can we know what they are. So this is why today we are going, we are going to try to explain um, what is mission, what is purpose, how do I connect with my mission and my purpose, and also, of course, from the, um, from the point of view of the soul, because we are in the week of soul. We have spoken about what is a mission and what is a purpose, but what we are going to do today is to talk about how we can put them both together and balance them. Hmm? First of all, to know the word mission. Mission comes from the Latin word mitere. Mitere means to send something. So like send the package, send the person, that's the meaning of, of um, mitere, uh, so mission. So <coughs> mission is the concept of someone that is sent to do something. Hmm? That's why we have, um, I believe that from other levels of consciousness, someone has sent us to this life. So we call ourselves in a mission. We can say that we have a mission because um, we have been sent to life. Hmm? First of all, we have to understand this, that the question that we may, may ask to, our, to ourselves is, who sent us? Because, well, of course, if we have a mission, and mission means to be sent to somewhere, uh, so the question would be, so who sent us to life? But in the universe, it's not like this. There is nobody sending us to life. This is more a uh, cultural aspect from the moment where mission was born, the word mission. And this is related to the ancient times where um, to send a message from one village to another, you have to send a person. So that person had a message and they went from one point to another <coughs> uh, to, to, to give the message, okay? So, um, so the message uh, also from Mitre, okay, uh, is the messenger Okay, and the messenger gives the concept of the mission, the missioner that has the mission to bring the, to take the, the message. So uh, they said, if we have messengers in this life, in the earth, so we also have messengers from heaven and earth. Okay, so this is how we created the concept of someone putting the intention to send an idea, a message, to somewhere else okay so but the universe doesn't work like this we we just um 
took the concept of messenger and missioner um, to um, missioner to explain the other concept we are going to discuss today hmm? of mission. Taking this image of the messenger in the past, we can relate that when someone gave you a message, now you have to take it to some place, to the destiny, okay? So um, your mission is to take, to take the message, okay? So your mission would be to make the path. It's not to deliver the message, it's not to give the message at the end. Your mission is to do everything as you can so the message can arrive. So this is why mission is speaking about the process to going to the place. So in the other hand, we will have the purpose. <coughs> purpose is a, a Latin word that comes from pro pos. Okay, pro means pro means um, ahead, something that is ahead, and pos comes from ponere, which means to put something. Okay, something that is put in a place. Hmm? Uh, okay, that is put in a place. So, um, so this means that in Latin, purpose would mean would mean uh, that thing that I put ahead, the thing that I put ahead, and that's goal, objectives. Okay the aim of your life. <coughs> hmm? Aims of your life. So, um, so purpose would be to deliver the message there in the last spot, in the destiny, okay? At the last moment of the whole path. So your mission would be to make the path to arrive to your purpose. Hmm? Okay. So, for example, we would say that in that time, if you are the messenger, the king would tell you, you have a purpose. Your pur purpose is to give this message to the other king in the other city. That is your purpose. So, this is why I send you in a mission to deliver the message. You see the difference? Hmm? That's the difference between both of them. This is why what we call mission is not to accomplish something. It's not to, oh, that is my mission and I have to accomplish it and do it and, <coughs> and finish it. No, mission would be to prepare myself to do the path. So everything that you have lived in your life, all the conflicts, all the, um, the challenges that you have, um, all the, um, uh, all the things that you have learned, that you have taught, everything that you have gone through in your life and you are going through in your life is part of your mission. Hmm? That's it. We could say that mission is like a line that connects one point to another. So my mission is not to arrive to the other side. My mission is to go through the line that connects both points. We are going to stop a moment in mission because when somebody asks well what is my mission the answer is very easy your mission is life to live talking about the 
the concept of mission. Uh, you may ask me, well, that yes, uh, you may say that the um, that life is mission, but of course you are doing a mission. You can tell me you are doing a mission too. So uh, yes, I am in a mission. I am here in Egypt, 360 days, connecting with you. Uh, I am doing this for the consciousness of the planet. So I am doing a mission, okay? But there's two ways in which we see a mission. <coughs> Before myself, I was taking the mission, the mission as if as something imposed to me, something that someone else from the outside was telling me, you have to do this, you have to finish this, you have to accomplish this. So that was a mission for me, that I have to do a lot of things, I have to do and finish stuff. That was what I believe about mission. But suddenly, close to this time, I started to realize that that mission was not something that somebody tells me to do. That mission was really to do what I have within. Because if mission, mi mission is the path of life, it means that mission is constant in your life. It's not, it's not something you just finish or you just end. Is a constant process. So you may realize that suddenly there is no mission but what you are, but your own life. So suddenly I just picture, I just recognize that what I'm here in the pyramids in Egypt is not because I've been told to do it and I was pushed to do it. It's because this is something that I am. It's within me. It's part of myself. And my mission is to share what I am, is to share myself, the things that I have within. So <clears throat> suddenly stop being uh, like a karma that someone was saying you have to do it. And suddenly it became like, no, a mission is just to be. It's just to be 100% what I am. So basically the reason why we are not accomplishing our mission or we have no idea what is our mission is because we are living our lives through the eyes of others. We are trying to live our lives through the expectations, expectatives of others. And we don't live the life we have to live, our own life. So the only way you can accomplish your mission is to start to live your own life 100%. This is why I'm here, because I'm living 100% what I do. Because this is what I have, is what I can do. Uh, nobody can tell you how it is to be yourself. Only you know what it is to be yourself. So that's your mission. <laughs> so mission would be all the things that we usually call karma. Because karma is those things that you have to do, that you have to move, that you have to learn, that you have to, to improve, that you have to go through new challenges. Okay, so that's, that's what we call karma, that's what we call mission. To learn is the process of learning and acknowledging. Once that I had accomplished all my mission, which was to learn, to acknowledge, to assimilate all the information that I needed to learn, to know, Suddenly, in that moment, is when I am ready to accomplish my purpose. The purpose comes when the mission ends. And purpose is not something you have wished for. 
It's not that I am willing to become this, I am willing to do this, I would love to be this, I would love to accomplish this. No, that's not the purpose. So <clears throat> the purpose that we put ahead is not something you wish to become or to do in the future. The purpose is something that has been with you all the time. It's something that has been in your life since the very beginning. And that you just and that you are just going to discover it at the moment you arrive. So you will only discover the purpose when you finish the mission. And how comes that? Because we if we take the example from before, when someone sent you to give a message to another person in another place, I've been given a message and the whole process was to deliver the message. So when I give the message, I will know what was written there by the reaction of the other person. But all the time, I hold the message. I was carrying the message the whole path. But I won't understand it until the other person opens it and reads it. So this means that I will realize of the purpose of my mission at the moment I finish my mission. Here comes this Thing, this question that uh, that is kind of a relief too which is if you are not gonna know the purpose until you end your mission this means that there's no there's no reason why we need to know the purpose of our life so everyone is asking what is my purpose so i can be more clear in my life and know where i'm going to but knowing your purpose won't give you uh clarity will give you uh will make you desperate will give you stress will make you feel like if you have to run in order to accomplish your purpose, to get there. And just because you are so focused on the future, you are missing all the things in your mission that you need in order to understand the purpose. So if you are not focused in your mission, you won't have the tools to do your purpose you know what i mean so this is why it really doesn't matter to know the purpose the important thing is that you do your mission what is your mission your mission is to live 100 percent your own life and not the life of others if I focus only in my purpose, I will lose a lot of time because I won't catch all the tools that I need in my life to accomplish my purpose. So I have to focus in my mission, step by step. And to do that, you have to live your own life. For example, maybe you can you can say, well, but if I don't know my mission, I don't know where I have to go, um, for sure I won't be accomplishing my mission because I am lost, I don't know from where I have to take the path. No, I'm sorry, but it doesn't work like that. It's easy, the answer of why, so how do I not, how, what should I do in order to not get lost in my mission? So 
the, the answer is easy, is just be yourself, as I said before. And this is because we usually, in our life, when we think about our mission, we put all our energy on stopping the mission of others or trying to copy the mission of others. And when you do that, that's when you lost, when you have lost your mission. That's when you lose your mission, when you are lost. But if you are 100% yourself, there's no mistake. There's no mistake. You are doing your mission just by being yourself. So this is why in order to accomplish my mission and to accomplish my purpose in life, I have to go back to myself. I have to say, who am I? I am. This is me. I have to go back and understand who I am. Simply. And another thing that my higher self told me the other day, but for, for another information, but that today matches. And the, the thought would be that maybe you have noticed that the bad people that we call, all the people that we say they are bad persons and, and they are the enemies of the people, um, they, they succeed, they, they have much more success than the good people. Hmm. Uh, so, have you noticed that, I think? Um, the reason why the bad people is like that um, is because they don't have any problem with being who they are. They are just what they are. They don't have nothing to hide. Okay? nothing to hide so they don't care about anything they know how to handle the matter they are just themselves hmm? and that's it they're connected with the self they do what they are hmm? the reason why usually good people doesn't really have much success as they would expect <clears throat> is because they are trying to to be what others expect from themselves. They are waiting for others to accept them or to uh, to become like someone else, like someone different. So sometimes what happens with the bad people is that they are constantly going through everything and they just change. They transform themselves and they adapt to new things. And the good people, usually, they want for everyone to stay the same, to be more quiet, to have the utopia of being all happy. So, what is success? Success, um, well, in English is different, but um, but uh, success comes from the from the word uh, exodus in Greek, and exodus is ex uh, exit, <laughs> exit. Yeah, the word exit in English is to go farther, to move from one stage to another. Hmm? So to be success is to exit from one point to another, to be able to transform yourself. I've, I've been reading some of the messages here and my question would be, what makes you think that in order to have success, you have to be a bad person? Hmm? Why do you think that the bad people 
in the movies and in life, they usually end up bad, suffering. So basically the, the bad, the concept of bad, we, we have spoken about um, this in previous uh, videos, but the concept of being bad is a person that has been distorted from the path of life. So being distorted means that all the mission was done in a distortion way. So when they deliver the message, when the other person reads the message, it was the sentence of death of the messenger because he was just doing all the things wrong. So here's what we have to learn about the dark ones or, and the, the bad people in life during the mission. That they doesn't care about what other people think. They just simply are. And that's it. They don't care. So, so what you have to do is just to take the information that they have to teach to you and do it in the pro proper way by coherence. So you just be yourself present here and now, but in balance, not distorted like they were. Balanced. So when you find that, you simply are and everything goes fine. Everything goes well. Two things to, to say about what we have said. One of the things is that uh, when we talk about good things and bad things, of course, I, I will send you to see the other videos because I explained that. Uh, but just an observation. Why we usually, when talk about the bad things of being a good person, immediately we think that the opposite then is a, is a good thing. So being bad is the good thing. No, it's not like that. Um, it's a good thing to, un to analyze in this month of Libra, of balance and equilibrium. Because why, the question for you would be why, we would always think that one concept, if we discuss one concept, that means that the other one is the opposite. It's not like that all together is all one so it's like the yin yang when you have you have good things inside the bad things you have bad things inside the good things and both of them have good things to give each other basically so that's one observation to try to think why we usually separate things like if i am not here so i am against that so I am in the other side. And the second observation <coughs> would be the second observation would be for some of the people or most of the people, I don't know, that even if I am speaking and not finishing the sentence, if I am not finishing the sentence, I already made statements people made statements like saying um no but why this or why that but i hadn't finished my point so this is the second thing why are we sentencing things before we can't speak about all okay so I uh, just, just wanted to say this to share uh, a little bit about the pedagogy. 
of this concept uh, that um, that I know that these things that we are talking here creates a lot of questions, of course, is natural. And and when you write the questions, I pick them and I try to to explain some of them uh, if they are related with what I'm explaining, of course. But I want to give you an advice, not 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 um, as a respect for me, but as an advice for you that are listening and learning. Yes, because I, I can I can read all the questions and I don't care about the questions because I can just keep going and doesn't matter. For, for me, it's not a problem you making questions. For me, it, it's even helpful because then I can know if, if, if you understood or not or whatever. So it's not a problem to make the questions. What I want to just share with you is kind of um, advice, okay, that when someone is explaining and you make uh, questions over the explanation, uh, sometimes you may be lost the idea of what I'm explaining because I am going to explain all the concepts but sometimes I have seen that maybe there is a lot of people mm, lost in the explanations because they are doing a lot of questions before I can even finish what I'm explaining yes so if you make the questions in the commentaries of the videos and in in Instagram I read everything so I pick the questions and I take them to explain uh, later, of course. Um, uh, just that, just wanted to say this as, uh, as an advice for you to pay attention when I am explaining, okay? And then uh, you make all the questions you need, but don't, don't lose your attention because maybe I, while you are doing the question and writing and so on, you are losing the point of what I'm saying, okay? And that would be a problem. So uh, just just wanted to to say um, uh, that we are here, of course, to make explanations and to and to make an alignment, okay, as as a meditation. But this, what I'm explaining right now, is also part of the meditation. And why is that? Because um, one of the most important things that we need to know and to understand to meditate, to listen to our higher self, is to learn how to listen to the others. Here we are on Earth, so we have to learn to listen to the others so you can um, learn how to listen yourself, okay? So this is uh, a practice, okay? This is a practice of um, meditation, okay? Uh, listening is part of the meditation. I'm not trying to be like a teacher here, like, like, um, like saying to you, no, don't do this. No, no, no. I don't want you to take it like that. Um, I'm just saying this because, not because I want you to respect and to make silence when I'm speaking. No, no, no. It's not that because I, I don't care. You can say whatever you want. I, I, don't, I won't care. But um, uh, what I want to, uh, to say is, is an advice for you, basically. Okay? It's an advice for your own way to assimilate information, your own way to do the meditation, that listening is also part of the task to know how to learn. Hmm? It's an important uh, part of it. This is why it's not something disconnected from what I'm explaining and the meditation we are going to do now. This is something also connected to that. Hmm? So that's it. I will explain something different for those who desperate and they see the minutes passing by. So uh, another thing 
um, this other thing that I want to explain is that what we are doing every day here is not a meditation, just for you to be clear. I don't know if I explained before, but um, this is not a meditation. This is an alignment. Meditation is something that you do by yourself at your home, in the forest, walking with music, whatever. But meditation is something that you do with yourself to go and find the answers with yourself, by yourself. Okay, that's a meditation. And alignment is to be in a line. Okay, and that's what it means. To put yourself in a line. To put yourself in your own line, which is coherence, and to put coherence and align with all the other people that are listening. So the alignment starts at the moment when I'm starting, when I start to explain, because we are aligning the information and making some adjust adjustment by the words, by the explanations, and we are all aligned in the same information. So what we do at the last moment, which is the alignment, is just to assimilate all the information that we have been aligning through this time. Okay, so that's an alignment. So information for today. So the sound for today is the sound we're going to make when this alignment ends today, which would be phew. So um, that's the sound for today, phew. The statement for today is, I am the flux of space. The code, the information for today is septet, a group of, a group of seven. The concept of seven as sacred original, as sacred originates from the subdivision of energies in the Merkaba. When both forces rotate over themselves, they generate their, the vehicles of light that divides the central energy of the being, the essence, in three superior forces and three inferior forces. This way, we acknowledge that, that seven created energies of our consciousness being exist, which will branch in the concept of chakras and universal laws. Sit comfortable. And um, start to stretch the body and yawn. Relax the body and focus only in your breathing.
I feel the air inside of me transforming my organs into wind. As I perceive the wind around me connecting with the air within me, I start to feel myself light as a feather. I perceive the energy of my soul starting to spin within my body. with different colors and it starts to go out of my body through the skin expanding and creator, creating a rainbow twister around myself Take a deep breath. I put my hands facing the sky at the high heart, giving the light of the I am, the sun, coming towards me. Take a deep breath and perceive the I am and its light going through the crown, their eye, throat, heart, plexus, sacrum, root, knees, and ankles. <coughs> I feel feet. burgundy light irradiating I perceive the light as two different rays that heads towards my hands filling up my hands with this energy with this color and light. I recognize that in one hand, I find my purpose. is towards I am heading to. And in the other hand, I find my mission which is the path I take towards my purpose. My mission is my path. My mission. Is the karma. All those things that I have to acknowledge, to learn, that I have to receive, to assimilate in my life. And my purpose is my dharma, is the teachings I have to give, all that I have to share, the knowledge that I acknowledge. In myself. Both of them are not things that I find outside. They are not things that I have to accomplish in my life. These two things are myself. 
and both of them are united within me. I take a deep breath, bringing my hands to my heart, unifying both concepts in the core, in the center of who I am. Take a deep breath and balance. I am the flux of space, for I am my path and destiny. I am the flux of path. I am the flux of space. I am the flux of space. Take a breath and begin to bring all this information through your body by yawning, curving, and stretching. We come back here and now, opening your eyes. So, tomorrow, good, so, so close now, for tomorrow, for the chorus, closing the moonlight. Warm, rest you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.